Facebook. You love it, you hate it, it's complicated. But in spite of the wild popularity of Facebook, I kind of feel bad for them. Aside from their disastrous IPO, this company has released more dud products over the past few years than anyone I can think of. I'm Donald Bell, and today's show I'm here to refresh your memory with my list of the top five Facebook product flops. Features that set out to change the world, but didn't at all. Starting things off at number five, Facebook Lite. Now this was a stripped down version of Facebook that was engineered to load more quickly for users on slow connections or slow hardware. They tossed out the apps, they tossed out the games, they decluttered the whole interface. Oh, and they also tossed out a bunch of those annoying flash-based ads on the sidebar. But those were the crazy pre-IPO days of 2009. Turns out that catering to poor people and serving less ads wasn't a project worth keeping around. After less than a year, Facebook Lite got switched off. At number four, Facebook questions. Now with one billion users at your disposal, why not put them to work solving life's great questions? Launched in 2010 and killed off in 2012, Facebook questions gave users a way to pull their friends for questions like, uh, where's the best pizza in Portland? Or which Planet of the Apes sequel is the best? Or where the hell did Facebook questions go? It was supposed to be a fatal blow to Yahoo Answers, but instead it just kind of withered away. At number three, the ticker. In 2011, Facebook did a major overhaul of their newsfeed and gave us a terrifying and very annoying little window onto all of our friends' likes and shares and comments. It was like peering into the naked soul of Facebook and seeing its neurosis for what it really was. And people hated that thing. So Facebook quickly saw the error of their ways and gave us a way to hide it. Please hide it. Do yourself a favor. It's awful. Coming in at number two, Facebook deals. Oh, this was a time when Mark Zuckerberg had the huevos to take on Groupon and Living Social. And I have to admit, it kind of seemed like a good idea. Who better than Facebook to know where you live, what you like, and where you like to travel? But maybe it was a little too perfect. A little too perfect not to be creepy. After four months, Google Deals got slashed. Now, before we get to number one, let's stop picking on Facebook for a minute. You know another internet giant who makes a ton of mistakes? Google. Here are my favorite five Google flops, all of which are really just as embarrassing as anything Facebook has done. That said, at least Google has that whole don't be evil mission statement thing. Facebook could have used that to help prevent them from thinking up number one. Beacon. Hey, here's an idea. Let's make it so that Facebook can keep track of all the sites you browse outside of Facebook so that I can share that information with all of your friends. What could go wrong? Not creepy at all. The idea was such an affront to privacy that it resulted in a class action lawsuit and even Mark Zuckerberg later admitted it was a mistake, which is not to say that he won't try it again. So there you have it, five ideas launched by the king of social networks that wound up right in the gutter. For more top fives like this, head over to top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.